Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Mystic Moonbeam Tarot and today I'm going to be doing a collective tea leaf reading with some additional messages at the end of the tea leaf session. Uh, please remember it's a general reading and it's not going to resonate with each and every one of you. It could be past, present, near future energy so just keep it all with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Now before I get started, um, I've got my notes while I was preparing the tea. So I'm going to get into these first. So first off, while I was preparing the tea, I seen a small toddler child and the initial J. This initial could be the name of the child or it could be for someone with a child. But the initial J was coming out. Um, children, seeing a child in tea leaf, it represents children, your own child. It could be a new start, a new beginning, a pregnancy or birth or something at infancy stages. It could be something that needs to get off the ground if it's not related to an actual child. Um, I also got Aries energy. Initials V and A in a name and a rocket. So there is something taking off in someone's life. This could be within your work life, your business life or a relationship. Um, then I seen the initials R and S. In a name and a flag. Flags are all about caution. And I was picking up on caution is needed with something. Someone needs to think before they proceed with something. Then I've seen a signature. Um, this signature started with the initial A. So there could be something that's been signed. You could be signing something. There could be some kind of correspondence, documents or paperwork coming in. And there's a signature that's needed. And it starts with the initial A. So that's a first name. I also have seen a big cross. So I do feel that the collective are, are um, heavily protected as well. But crosses, they also symbolise sacrifices as well. So there could be a big sacrifice that needs to be made in a situation before some kind of results are seen. Could also be that someone's been going through something for a long time or something's been going on for a long time and there may be one more sacrifice to make before a breakthrough happens. Um, then I seen a car and it looked, it was a car on what looked like a lift in a garage and work being done under the vehicle. Then I seen something dripping or leaking from under the vehicle um, while this vehicle was on a lift. So it was already in the garage. It was already being worked on. So someone's car could be going into the garage to be fixed. It could be to do with a leak or some, there's something dripping anyway, but I've seen something about a car on a lift in a garage. Then the number 77 come through and I've seen a male figure. Um, He was showing alongside the sign of Pisces and Taurus. So this male will be significant for either a water sign or an earth sign. Then I've seen a ring and an arrow pointing downwards. So I was getting news about a contract or a partnership with this. Then the initial B and Y in a name came out. I also seen a person walking away from it, what looked like stagnant energy, like walking away is helping you to avoid a chaotic situation. It was like I was seeing chaos being left behind, someone turning the back, walking away from some kind of chaos. You could be just walking away or turning your back just at the right time. Um, then the number 55 was showing and a magnet. So this is all about major changes that are happening. As something that you've been manifesting is coming in quickly. It could be um, something material wise if it's not a relationship. Because I was feeling a pull between either two people or something that you've been manifesting. It, it's coming closer and the energy around this pull was really strong as well. So there's something being manifested. Um, I'm going to get into the cup now. I'm going to start at the top as always. Just give me a moment. Now I'm hearing someone's got more than what they bargained for. So I feel this has already happened with that coming out. Someone's got 
more than what they bargained for or it's about to happen. Now, I'm seeing the initial R and there's a journey showing by boat. This journey could take longer than expected. If it's not by boat, it's travel that will take longer than expected. What's I seen a pump as well? Someone could be full of hot air or something could need pumping up. I'm seeing an helicopter and a home. This could be um, a house move that's going to happen. because it, It's near the top. I'm getting positive energy around this helicopter. It could even represent a visitor too. Something's going to be coming in or happening just at the right time. I also want to say that someone... Someone needs to get something done sooner rather than later. This helicopter could also represent someone's trade or business affairs picking up and getting better. There could also be some kind of career advancement for someone as well. I'm seeing this energy coming in maybe within the next few weeks. I'm also seeing a single flower. Looks like a tulip. Tulips are all about deep and perfect love, so this could be happening for someone. Flowers in general, they do represent personal growth, joy and happiness. So that is coming in for someone. I've seen a fish and money. So money's looking good for someone. Someone could, I could be talking to a Pisces when we are seeing a fish, but fish are all about money or more money through work or business. The number seven with this, that could be within the next seven days, seven weeks, seven months, the seventh of a month. I'm seeing a dragon at the bottom of the cup. Dragons are all about major changes. It's also about authority as well. So there could be changes in regards to someone's work. There could be a leadership role. I'm seeing changes around the initial L. I'm feeling there's a rebirth. Someone's going to go through and the changes are big and very significant. This rebirth could be after a loss of some kind. Could also be in regards to transformation around a male as well. Or someone could receive... A message from a male late at night. I don't know why, but I'm picking up on someone. Maybe someone may have seen, or you may, but you might see. I don't know if this is past or present, or even near future. But I'm seeing. I'm picking up on someone seeing a figure of a male with what looks like a big dog. Looks as big as a wolf. That's so random. Could be a spirit guide or a loved one. I'm also seeing twins as well, so this could be significant or as the star sign of Gemini. There's a big witch at the bottom. So I do feel a lot of the collective, witches represent your psychic abilities, intuition, growing stronger. It's a really big witch as well. Someone could be stepping into the power when it comes to their craft, especially with magical workings. Someone could be working on potions. There's the number eight behind this witch. I know eights are all about abundance, but I'm getting something about energy and karma. Someone could be at the point in their spiritual journey now. There's something about giving and receiving of energy I'm getting. Someone could be mastering energy work is what i want to say something around karma what you give out you take back it could also be that someone's doing some kind of magical workings on another person that's spiritual as well and this is going on behind your back someone could be trying to attach some kind of negative energy onto another 
but I'm seeing whoever it is standing strong. It could be that you're more powerful than this person. It could be down to jealousy, envy. But I'm seeing something not affecting another person. If it's another person throwing shade or magical workings your way, it's not affecting you. You may need to clear your energy as well. I don't know if someone's been um, cleansing a lot more recently. You may get the urge, the nudge to cleanse more. This is for good reason. But what I'm getting with this witch is someone stepping into the power of mastering how the energy works, energy exchange, what you give, you get back. Someone could be coming into that gift. Someone could be getting a lot of headaches as well, especially at the top, the crown. Someone's crown chakra is opening. And this is what I'm getting with the witch, um, psychic powers intuition growing stronger and stronger and stronger somebody could be ready to st uh, step into the next phase of something to do with their spiritual journey their spiritual practice someone's familiar could be a horse as well i know witches they normally have some have dogs there could be anything it's mostly the same witches are associated with cats not every witch has to have a cat or a dog. I'm seeing something about a horse. Someone's spirit animal could be a horse. Someone could be the star sign of cancer. It could be a solitary witch as well. Someone that practices alone. There's something about a horse. I'm seeing the name Joe. I don't know if you can see it. It's right at the bottom. I'm seeing the name Joe and news coming towards you from another who, who either likes birds or own a, owns a bird. This person could own a, a parrot or someone who likes bird of praise. I'm seeing news coming towards you from another. I'm also seeing the numbers 111. Now at the bottom, I'm seeing a group of people. Um, so this could be a meeting taking place, a gathering, a social event. Could be a conference, but I'm seeing a group of people. At the bottom, I'm also seeing, it looks like a back tooth. Could be an issue for someone or something, something else about someone's back tooth. Someone could need a back tooth taken out or that there's a back tooth that breaks. I'm also seeing a snake's head. Around the initial J and the number 47. That could be someone's age or door number. And a male energy. There could be sexual energy coming from this male towards another. Or someone needs to be aware of a male that's offering something. It could be that someone is suspicious of another, another person's intentions. This male could communicate about meeting up or going out. I'm just seeing something that this male is speaking about. Someone could be a Taurus, a Pisces or a Sagittarius. This could be you or this male. There seems to be suspicions around someone's intentions. I'm seeing a bow tie. Someone could be going to um, a bow tie event, suit and tie event. There's a lot of male energy showing up in the cup. So there could be a lot of demons with the masculine energy over the next few days, few weeks, few months. I'm also seeing a scythe as well. Scythe to represent um, endings, danger. I'm seeing the initial H. There could be something that needs working on. Um, it could be in regards to something to do with a contract. Something coming together, something loose ends being tied up. But there's more work that needs to be done before something is finalised or something is finally done. 
I'm also seeing someone pointing as well. So I don't know if there's some kind of blame being pointed towards another person. It's like um, the finger of blame. I'm seeing that. But I'm also seeing another person turning the back and ignoring this as well. So that could be just a message that you need to ignore any blame or take ownership of blame. That could mean something to someone. I'm going to get into the cards. Let's have a look. We've got cat. There we go. Curiosity. A friend is untrue. This is the, uh, this is the suspicion that I was picking up on. There's some kind of suspicion around someone's someone else's intentions. Someone could also be watching another at a distance as well. This person could try to reach out in two different ways. I don't know where that's come from, but from seeing the curiosity on that card. We've got the month of August. Leo Virgo energy. Good friends are willing to help you. It could be because we've got a friend who's untrue as well. So there could be a, um, a Leo or a Virgo around someone where you thought this person was a good friend. They're being untrue in some way. They could be hiding something from you or holding something back. But I'm also picking up on the energy of a lot of people watching someone else. It could be this group that I was seeing in the cup. We've got intuition. I was picking that up with the cup as well. It's being clarified. Someone's intuition is on point. It's strengthening. You may already know who this false person is. Something could have gone down in the month of August with a certain individual. We've got moving forward. I was seeing that within the cup as well. Someone turning the back, walking away from something, avoiding some kind of disaster, walking away from something that's chaotic or you need to. Like, don't get drawn back into any kind of chaos. Could be someone coming back as well. And I always say people are in your life. They're either a lesson or a blessing. If a person's broke you before, why go back to it to repeat that cycle? Yeah, we've got go with the flow. That's just letting things go naturally. Let things flow naturally. We've got Leo energy. An unpleasant situation is developing. So there could be some kind of unpleasant pleasantness going around the collective at the moment. You're just being told to go with the flow, go with the changes, go with the mood, go with the energy. We've got ghost. Someone from the past is looking for you. I was picking this up. Someone from the, someone coming back. They may want to draw you back into some kind of chaotic situation. But in the cup, I was seeing someone walking away from this chaos. We've got November. Someone could be a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. This could be a comeback around Scorpio, Sagittarius season as well. And then we have House, Better Times Are Coming. So there could be better times to come in the month of November as well for some of the collective. There could have been issues around the home within a family. Someone could have been having a bit of bad luck. And you need to know this is going to change. Better times are coming within your home, your stability, your security, your family, your relationships. these let's have a look we've got march someone could be an aries or a pisces we've got the fish i've seen the fish in the cup but i was picking up on um making more money through work or business um but we've got fish pisces energy and march with pisces and aries as well someone will betray you so someone who's a pisces or an aries you need to be aware of someone coming into your life that will betray you it could be someone from the past that you've already dealt with this person could be a Pisces or an Aries as well. We've got new developments soon. So there's definitely something new that's coming towards the collective after a bout of bad luck. And it's around you, your stability, your security, your relationships, your home, your family. You've still got a few people in your energy that you need to be aware of as well. Then we have Wheel. One who has been away will return soon. So there could be, there's definitely someone coming back. For someone else, there could be someone that went away for a while. This could be um, down to uh, working away for business. Someone travelling. It could be a child coming back home, a spouse. 
I'm getting some kind of news around the new developments and one who has been away will return soon. For someone else, there's someone coming back, either an Aries or a Pisces, or I'm talking to an Aries or a Pisces. They're coming back and they're just going to betray you again. So you just need to be aware of that. Let's get a couple more before I end the session. Pisces, there we go. Strong Pisces, Aries energy, Sagittarius, Scorpio. And Taurus, that was coming out within the cup as well. So there's a lot of people. I've seen a group coming out within the cup as well. So we've got a lot of energies coming out. Um, I could be a talk, talking to a Taurus female. Uh, where, where another person's not interested in you or you're not interested in them. So there could be a female Taurus I'm talking to or just a female in general. You've got your back turned to something and there could be a Taurus coming towards you or an energy coming towards you where you're not going to be interested at all. You could be focused on your own life at the moment. And we've got pin. Your lover may be attracted to another. So this could be the reason why you're not interested in this person. There's definitely um, a few people coming back and there's a lot of people in the collective's energy as well. But there's something new developing. Yeah, there we go. Pregnancy. There could be a pregnancy, a birth, a birth of something new. I was seeing this while I was preparing the tea with the child. So someone could get pregnant. Um, fertility could be high, especially with the egg being there. Um, someone can get pregnant through IVF as well. Um, and then we've got broom, make a change. So it could be that someone makes a change to the diet and then they, they finally get pregnant. It could be somebody trying to get pregnant. But if not, for this new beginning to come in, there's changes that the collective need to make or you're in the middle of making these changes now. And it's bringing something brand new in. So I'm going to leave those messages there and I hope that helped. And thank you all for watching.